Good evening. The Royal Bank of Scotland has announced a partial U-turn on its plans to close 62 branches. It will keep 10 of those under threat of closure open until at least the end of the year, while independent research is carried out into their usage. It follows intense pressure from politicians and customers on bank bosses and on its principal shareholder, the UK government. Andrew Anderson reports. Open for business, for the time being at least. This is the RBS branch on Comrie's High Street, earmarked for closure, now granted a temporary reprieve. Just across the road, the village butcher, one of the businesses which feared it would be hit if Comrie loses its bank. Fortunately, some shops have card machines, so they're able to take payments that way. But traditionally, people like, particularly elderly people, like to deal in cash, and small businesses rely on that ability to have cash and till. The branches granted a reprieve for at least the rest of the year are spread around the country, from Tongue in the north to Gretna in the south, mainly where there's no other RBS branch within nine miles. But there's no stay of execution for the other 52 branches. Soon, the nearest bank for customers in the Borders village of Duns will be in England. RBS said the decision to close this branch, along with 61 others across Scotland, was driven by changes in its customers' behaviour. Fewer going into the branch, more banking online. But the decision outraged politicians and local communities. But there's no guarantee any of the original 62 banks will remain open. Tonight, RBS said, during this period, we will monitor the level of transactions and new income at each branch. And if there is a sustained and viable increase in both, then we will reconsider the closure of the relevant branch as part of a full independent review. The union representing RBS staff has pledged to keep up the pressure on the bank. We want transparency, we want accountability, we want to understand what, on what basis they're making the decisions and we would like still the UK government to intervene in the, this closure programme because, as you can see, Unite's pressure, community pressure, has led to um, a stay of execution for some of the branches. BBC Scotland understands the RBS chief executive, Ross McEwen, is to be summoned before MPs at Westminster. It follows an emergency session earlier today of the Scottish Affairs Committee, held following the bank's announcement. RBS says it's listened to its customers. In this Persher village, they're hoping they have the bank's ear and they can see off the closure threat for good. Andrew Anderson, reporting Scotland, Comrie.